Hey guys. Hello. Hey guys. So we're trying Bami 25 here in Hanoi today because everybody talks about Bami 25 in Hanoi. Yeah, so it's come highly recommended. We people try. we know and I guess people on the internet too. I don't know. Yeah. So let's see how it compares to Bami Queen and Hoi An. I'm not sure because that's pretty, that's at the top of my list. Those are some strong, some tall shoes to fill. You know I what I'm know. Saying? Big so, time. So yeah. let's see. We, ha we haven't really had a, a Bami yet in uh, Hanoi. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we ordered. We ordered, and she was super sweet. Yeah, we got the mixed. Uh, Their signature. Signature, the mixed uh, bami. Yes. Uh, I got mine with an egg, and Carmen got hers without mayo. mayo. Okay. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we're about to go sit down. They're gonna bring it to us. Okay, so we just got our beer and our coconut coffee. Or my my coconut coffee, his beer. Yes. Well, let me try this coconut coffee because I only. Um, had one in Hoi An and it was amazing. Let me show you what this looks like. <laughs> looks like the one I got, uh, except for it's small. Let's try it. It's not as sweet as the first one, but let me mix it up because last time it wasn't either, so. No. Good. The one I had in Hoi An was better, but it's still good. And then, um, yeah, I, I just have to find a good coffee shop, cafe, which is not hard to do, but we just haven't been spending much time out here. Um, so I could find myself another good coconut coffee and another salt coffee. It's good, but it's not like the one you threw away. No, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's good actually. It's good, but I like the other one better. Yeah. I read some reviews that were bashing this place, like it's a tourist trap, don't go there, blah, blah, blah. They don't even toast their bread, but my bread's toasted so, and it's warm. I'll show you that sandwich. That looks lovely. That looks amazing. Let me do a little full back on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got it. This is the mixed sandwich. Mixed with egg. All right, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Mm. That bread is good. That's a good bread there. Crunchy but not too crunchy, but soft on the inside. Your egg looks good scrambled. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we come back, I'll get that egg too. Yeah. It's not Bami Queen mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even come close to Bami Queen. Mm -hmm. But it's a good Bami. It's a good Bami. It's okay. I'll give it about a... Compared to the ones in OM, I'll give it about a 7.8. Maybe an eight. Mm. Seven point, I'll say seven point eight. Yeah. Okay. I'm about a seven. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the meat. Um, it tastes almost a little uh, cold cut adjacent mm. to me, which I'm not a big fan of cold cut. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we just had Bami 25 and now we can have a full review. Honest review. Yeah, you got the first bite. And the first bite was okay, but the first bite was okay because the bread was The was bread was good. fire. The bread was really good. But it, it was toasted and it was good, but yeah. the, the more we ate, the lower the score kept dropping. <laughs> was scooping out the pate and putting it on my plate because it tasted fishy to me, the pate. That wasn't one of the better ones. And and coming from Hoya, yeah. and Bummy Queen, and even the other little stalls that we found that we showed you, this did not measure up at all. No. So 
I guess. I don't know if it's like one of the better ones in um, Hanoi, but <laughs> by what I'm reading, I don't think it is. I think it's just the most famous one, uh, and it's not the best. Yeah, they have a really good ambiance and a good uh, uh, place to sit and eat, and it's clean and stuff, but when yeah. it comes to flavor, it, it tastes more like a bami you drink in the States. Yeah. Like, if you didn't know what a bami was, or this is your first bami, you'd be like, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. If, if you're looking for a place to sit <laughs> and enjoy your bami, have a good beer, and... There's a hidden bar back here, Coconut too. coffee, yeah. yeah. There's a little hidden bar. It's cute, and I think that that's what a lot of the reviews were saying as well. Right. Especially for people who were Vietnamese, like, don't go here. Yeah. They were saying it's a tourist trap. It's just popularity. We agree. Totally agree. Especially now having what we've had. And we recommended Bon Mi Queen in Hoi An to some friends who had been here. And they came here and they just sent me a, a text right right before we started filming. We're back at Bon Mi Queen. It's super unreal. This is the most amazing Bon Mi. And they were the ones who recommended Bon Mi 25 to us. It, it doesn't hold a candle to Bon Mi Queen. Doesn't compare. Doesn't compare. Doesn't compare. So I'm, uh, I'm going to give it about a six. And I'm going to give it about a five because okay. I had to scoop it. I didn't like the pate at all. Right. Um, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to find a comparable place or a place that's better than this yeah. out here so that we can give you... We just don't want to crap on Bami 25 without giving like... Another option for you. Another option. Yeah. So we're going to give you another option. We're going to find another option here in Hanoi. Yes. All right. Stay tuned. Bye. Yeah, Carmen found a spa, found a really good deal, so we couldn't pass it up. So Hanoi apparently is known for great spa treatments and spas. There are spas all over the place. Yeah. And so I looked up like top 10 best spas in Hanoi, and this one came up as number one on one of the sites I looked up. Yeah. And it's called Spas Hanoi. And so we're doing the relax package today, and it's three hours long. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I've never had anything like that before, so this will be my first time doing <laughs> something like this. Yeah, three hours of like a soap. Uh, well, I'll tell you everything that it was afterwards. Yeah. But you won't believe the price, so we'll add it on here. Yeah, for sure. So, All we're right. excited. All right, bye guys. Let's go. Yes, it's our last day. In Hanoi. Yes. Yes. And so we, since we got to Vietnam, we've been wanting to try the egg coffee. Yeah. But we knew that it was famous here in Hanoi. Yeah. We're going to take you to the most famous place in Hanoi for egg coffee, and it's called Cafe Giang. Yes. And so, here we it's, go. It's been doing coffee since 1946. That's right. So, we're going to cross this street. Um, our, our guide, our guide to Halong Bay told us the best way to cross the street in Vietnam is just to hold hands, close your eyes, and go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's kind of how it works. And they weren't lying, so. It's so scary. This is us uh, running across the street. <laughs> and this is us walking up to Cafe Jian. And it looks like this might be a fish. This little water bath is the water hot? Yeah, and like a hot water bath. And keep, keep it warm. Cool. Okay. 
good, real good. Yeah? It's thick. He's not a coffee drinker, so that's a big deal. Yeah. The whole thing is thick throughout? I think so. Mm -mm. Like it's thinner at the bottom? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's yummy. I like what it. What a yummy little taste. Vietnamese coffee is so strong. So all these yummy, foamy things on top. It's not, I heard that it was very sweet. It's not too sweet. No, no it's perfect. Or maybe it's just this place that has figured it out. Right, right. It's, it's lovely. Mm. Tina likes it. I like it. And I like the, I think my favorite so far is the salted coffee, um, which I want to have another one before we leave tomorrow morning. So um, I'm having a couple of coffees today. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy our egg coffee up here on this little terrace. She's having a cup of coffee, so that means pray for me. <laughs> pray for him? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but pray for him or whatever. That's what he wants. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have that coffee. All right. So, so how ahead. would you describe the taste of it? Uh, it's a very frothy, um, sweet, thick cream. Creamy, uh, yeah. Thick, creamy. Got that much coffee though, it seems like, and then the rest is all cream. Yeah. yeah. But it's really tasty though. <laughs> I like it. Um, the people who are sitting next to us just ordered an iced egg coffee. And the glass is like, like uh, this high, and then ice with all the foam, and then about this much coffee at the bottom. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I say if you're here, you should try one out because it's, it's pretty good. It's a nice little treat. And I'm not a coffee drinker, so. When you get to the bottom, if you just drink like that, it's just straight, super strong Vietnamese coffee. Yeah. All their coffee is super strong here. It's so very strong. if you get like a coconut coffee, which I had when I was in Hoi An, and we'll, sh we'll shoot. I don't think I got that on a tape. Oh, I got a coconut coffee. That's the one you threw away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> got one yesterday, too. I got one yesterday, too, and we had a uh, bombing. But the thing that I didn't uh, try on camera was the salted coffee, and that was fantastic. And it was similar to this, where it's a lot of uh, the foamy cream. Yeah. And a tiny bit of coffee at the bottom. And same with coconut coffee though, they use, they do like a coconut smoothie and then they just pour the really strong coffee over and it's not very much, it's just a very small amount. So, but it's super, super yummy. Cool. this the milk coffee with the cafe um, and condensed milk I've had this twice and I've had this twice and they're all excellent seems like this is like a, a coffee street so you know Vietnam is known for their coffee culture and um, there are so many cafes everywhere like three-story cafes gorgeous cafes and um, Cafes are beautiful. Yeah, like, they, yeah, go ahead. They do coffee. Cafe is good out here. They do them right. Yeah, and I guess it's where a lot of people just spend a lot of their time, right? Yeah. And in the one where we just had the egg coffee, which is uh, very well known out here in Hanoi, old Hanoi, it um, it seems like people just go in there and they bring their own food yeah. and they just sit and uh, spend hours in there. Have a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> And then there are these, you know, more trendy spots that are just really stunning. And with all of this like French colonial architecture and like the old town feeling, it's just beautiful. Like yeah. you could just really spend a lot of time out here just enjoying this beautiful drink that they have mastered clearly. And, uh, and it's just like an, a time to fellowship and 
yeah, hanged out is what it looks like. It's pretty cool here. It feels like. Okay. Like it. We really do. Okay, now off to the market. Terry forgot to ask at the spa yesterday if they wax noses. And he's really been wanting his nose waxed. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been wanting to get my nose waxed. I've just been needing to get my nose waxed. I don't have any clippers here. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sorry. It didn't hurt. It just made a sense. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That tear is real. It's real. <laughs> Not my gym. Not mine either. So it's just like a lot of stuff yes. everywhere. Just stuff, right? And yeah. not really our style of anything. Um, what I'm noticing is that uh, the Vietnamese style is very, um, it's very cute, like the, the for women, like very kind of Chanel, and um, and also a lot of knockoff stuff, right? Um, yeah. And just like, yeah, not really our style or anything, but, it, and it's very hot in this market and crowded. Yeah. So. Like, not crowded with people, but it's just stuff. shops and stuff. Yeah. Stuff. I guess if you're like sewing, and mom, sorry that I don't have room in my suitcases to bring you fabric, but if uh, buying fabric is your jam, come here, you can buy a lot. And then just, you know, if you want a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so on the way over here in the Grab, which I love that app by the way. Um, it's like uh, Terry said, like the way, uh, the prices that Uber used to cost back in the day. Yeah. It's awesome. Back in the 2012 and 13 years, <laughs> Uber was my it's primary way. It's all right. It's not the front. It's the front okay. way. It's our, it was my primary way of transportation, transportation in Los Angeles yeah. so, uh, at night because, you know, doing a lot of partying. <laughs> what were you saying though? So, um, on the way over, uh, we saw this beautiful location with like a little bridge over uh, like a little river. Yeah. And so we want to go back there because yeah. it looks so pretty. And we really haven't had a chance to explore uh, Hanoi the way we would like to because we got here and then we had to work and then we went to Halong Bay. So this is our only full day to explore. So we're gonna head back on over, see if we can find something to eat. 
and enjoy the beauty of Hanoi. Yes. See you on the other side of town, guys. Like it might be comparable to what we had at Van Mi Queen in um, Hoi An. And it's toasty right off the bat. Mm. Mm. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited for you to try this one. Okay. I knew it. Skip Van Mi 25 altogether. And come here. This is amazing. All right, I'm excited about this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's very good. That's promising. That's all you got, promising? Okay. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to give it some real time. Mm-hmm. I'll wait till I finish it before I get my score. I've learned the last time not to yeah. give it out so early. So <laughs> let me finish this and I'll come back and give you my honest review. Because now all of a sudden, since we've been, you know, in Vietnam for two weeks, we're Bami experts. Yeah. So, you know, you must listen to us and you must give us some time to give you a proper score. Yes. Right? Exactly. Okay. All right. Be bye back guys. with bye you. Guys. That's how they got me the other day. I got, I got cursed out. A woman passed by just like that, handing me one of those little donuts. Like shoved it in my hand. And I picked it up. And I took a bite. I didn't like it. And she said, now you pay. And I said, I, did, I didn't like it. <laughs> and she was like, trying to charge me a lot or something. I can't even remember, but I was like, I was giggling because I'm like, you shoved it in my hand and I didn't like it. Now you pay. And I said, I, I didn't like it. And she cursed me out again. I mean, I don't know what she said, but her face said it all, right? Mm -hmm. We were with uh, our friend Jack, who we met here, him and his lovely partner, Veronica. And Terry and Jack both said, oh, she really gave it to you. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she, she looked like she almost spit on the ground. Like, we said, da, da, da. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, she, 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 didn't, she didn't hold back, that's for sure. Uh -uh. Okay, so another fun fact, and why I even uh, started recording her, is because she's completely covered up, and all you see is her eyes. So one of the locals here told us that a lot of women here, when they're in the sun, when the sun is shining, they will completely cover themselves up because they don't want to get dark. So Terry and I are not a desirable skin tone here, not in Southeast Asia at all. What we noticed very much so in uh, Thailand was a lot of bleaching creams, a lot of uh, 
cosmetic bleaching creams everywhere, literally everywhere. Whitening cream, whitening suntan lotion, whitening ev everything, everything. And then uh, when we were on the bus, was it uh, to Halong Bay, our guide was talking about how they always cover up because they don't want to turn dark. And uh, you know, white is beautiful to them. And uh, dark is Being ugly. dark represents being like a corp outside, working outside, being a... Uh, poor. Work, poor, and, but a work, an outside worker. Right, and like working, low uh, class. Being white represents being uh, corporate or rich. inside and with money. Yeah, rich with money and beauty. Uh, wealth, uh, white is, yeah, is, is uh, tied to wealth and beauty and success. Our Vietnamese guide was saying to the woman from Thailand, you all have very pretty skin in Thailand. And she said, you don't care uh, that you're not white. <laughs> and she said, and the woman from Thailand said, no, we do. And she said the same thing. White skin represents this, dark skin represents this. And now mind you, Terry and I are sitting right behind them. And then she said, no, you women from Vietnam have very beautiful skin. And she said, no, no, we're very dark. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yep. All over the world. So, yeah, when you see them wearing their hats and covered up, all covered up and only showing their face, they're not Muslim. They're not what? <laughs> they're not Muslim. Oh, yeah. It's not for religious purposes because they've been taught that white is beautiful and dark is bad and poor and low class and ugly. <laughs> so are you. Thank you. It's time to review that banh mi. Okay, we ordered on the menu the banh mi success. It has a Vietnamese meatball, pate, grilled pork, and herbs. It was 50 uh, dong. Okay. Not a bad price. Nope, not at all. So yeah, I'll give that about, if I gave yesterday a 6, which I probably should re-review and turn that to a 5. I'll get us about a 7.3. It's uh, it's an okay sandwich. It's a good sandwich. It's, it's, you would be satisfied from it. Uh, we've just been spoiled by the ones in the Hoi An and the Bobby Queen is just fantastic. Out of this world. Yeah. And so if I'm comparing this to Bobby Queen and Bobby Queen is a 10, I would give this about an 8. Um, it's pretty good. Um, you know, if I'm comparing them to the ones I've had in the US, this would be a 10, of course. But, um, I, I would say for here and for what you can get or what we've had um, because we've been spoiled. Yeah. I would still say this is an eight. Um, okay. I was happy. I was happy with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. You, you won't be mad at it, but you know, go to Hoi An. <laughs> so, but if you're in Hanoi and you're looking for a good banh mi and you've read that banh mi 25 was the best, it's not. It is not. It's really not. No. So this would be a far better choice oh, yeah. than banh mi 25. And the, the area is really beautiful and there's seating out here yeah. and they take credit cards and it's really nice. Like the cleanliness is amazing yes. and all of that stuff. So if you're looking for that and you're like leery of eating at food stalls and stuff like that, then this this is a great uh, option for you. Yeah, it's fantastic. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong with it. You can't. Yeah. But we're still on the hunt, so we may come back tonight with another review. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna be so hopped up on caffeine. This is my third coffee of the day. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta be up at five o'clock in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, we're leaving Vietnam in the morning. What are, what do you, what do you want from me? Pretty hard. It was like smoking a, a cigarette or something for the first time. Really? Yeah, or, or like a, or smoking like a, a, a strong, um, a strong uh, uh, cigar or something. It was, it was tough. Yeah. It was good though. That was cool. Yeah, I'd, I'd get one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Tano. Thank you. Thank you. So, question: How does it feel spending what was that? Ten dollars? Uh, probably about. Yeah, about ten bucks. For or or when's the last time you spent ten bucks on on a haircut, haircut and and beard? Well, trim. when I got my haircut for ten dollars, I didn't have a beard. <laughs> so that's how long ago that was. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that had to be about eighty nine. And he was pretty damn good. He Turn around. Good. Let me yeah. let me let me check this fade. Yeah. Look down a little bit. Okay. Up. Clean, baby. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> This is something new. Something new. So look at this is what we're doing, and it has how to cook all the meat. This has to be the best thing I've eaten in Hanoi. You? It's pretty that on tasty, I'll say that for sure. Yeah. It's up there. It might be number one, to be honest. For me, it's for sure number one. Yeah. And we had no idea. We just kind of stumbled upon it and... We stumbled upon some greatness. <laughs> Amazing. So good. Like, you wouldn't even think, but it's the sauces and the way it's cooked. I don't know. It, Delicious. Delicious. The 
thank you, Vietnam. It's been so beautiful. Yeah, thank you so much. We have loved every second. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.